previously on Chicken Girls. Rise and shine, time to wake up. It's your first day of high school. Are you ready? I am so nervous. Are you guys nervous? Because I just, I really want people to like me and... We like you. We're still the Chicken Girls, aren't we? After everything that's happened, I need to get back into dance. There's so many people. Don't worry, I study the yearbook. I'm Rooney. Stephanie. Right, you're from the Overnights. Those are the Queen Bees. They rule the dance team. Guys, there's only five spots. There's more than five of us. Not all of us are gonna make it. Since you're all already here, we may as well get started. This is too much. Pathetic. I was going to try for the dance team, but clearly I can't do it. No, my dear. Clearly you were meant for the theater. That, my dear, is Drake. And yes, he plays and sings. TK, what's going on? My parents are getting divorced. My dad's moving back to Texas. Birdie's staying. Well, yeah, yeah, you are too, right? I don't know yet. You have no right to be putting TK in this position. I'm his dad. Not even frozen waffles? Come on. I can't take this fight anymore. Dad just needs to stay at a hotel. Or he should just decide not to move to Texas. He's splitting the entire family up. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Or whatever. Good morning. Is it? Yeah, I don't need the attitude. We're all just trying to figure this out. You make a choice yet? TK. Why do you keep asking him? Why are you trying to split the family up? Bertie, please stop yelling. I wonder where I get it from. Come on, TK. He needs to stay here and die. I have a lot to think about. Ugh, whatever. Family dinner at seven. Don't be late. But I know this is a big decision. But you really have to make a choice by tonight. Yeah. Hey, kid. You're here early. So are you. What's wrong? Nothing, just stuff at home. I really had to get out of there this morning. I get it. Yeah? Yeah. If you need an escape, there's a cool band playing at the Heat Wave tonight. I get in for free because my older brother sends a deoner. I can't, I have a dinner tonight. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. You said 7.30. Do you know what time it is? There was a really long line at the coffee shop. <laughs> no excuses. Do you even want to be on the varsity dance team? We can always demote you to JV. Did you write my paper for me? Yes. 1,000 words in the scarlet letter. It better not be copy and pasted from Sparknotes. <laughs> Kimmy, I said an iced chai, not mocha. I can't even drink coffee. Oops. Looks like you have some cleaning to do. Let's go, bees. These rookies are giving me a migraine. Am I the only one that thought that was ridiculous? It sucks, but what else are we supposed to do? Dance is my life. Me too, but the bees are horrible. They're so mean. This is unacceptable. I don't know about you girls, but I'm not spending the rest of my freshman year being bullied and pushed around. We need a mutiny. Mutiny? See, if we all quit the dance team, there won't be enough members to compete. So then they'll have no choice but to be nicer, and we get to stay on the team. Exactly. We need to stick together, though, or else it won't work. Remember, power in numbers. I'm in. Me too. Same. I guess. OK. So tomorrow after rehearsal, we take a stand.
This is how it's supposed to be I remember once when you were close to me I guess this is what it feels like I guess this is what it feels like This is how it's supposed to be what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at school. Yeah, yeah, I know. Look, JK, you're my boyfriend. But you're also my best friend and I want to be part of this decision. So let's just hang out for the rest of the day and maybe that will make your decision easier. I ain't gonna be in trouble. I kinda sent an email from my mom's computer to the principal saying I was sick. Rhyme! I know, but I needed to see you. That's a lot of stuff. Is it all your dad's? Uh, yeah, we're all still kind of sorting it out. You know everything's gonna be okay, right? We're stronger than this. Let's go. a little dramatic, don't you think? You've been chosen, Ellie. For what? We've picked you. Picked me for what? We have decided after much deliberation that you will be the fifth bee. We always have five, and Brianna went to boarding school, so we've been in the market. And you're the lucky winner. You guys want me to be a, a bee? That's right. Well, not yet. Usually we start with the trial period. There's a lot of work to be done. <laughs> a lot, starting with your name. Robin Robbins thought I should be a Brooke. Perfect. Now Brooke, do you understand what it means to be a bee? It means power, it means getting what you want, it means all the girls admire you and all the boys wanna be with you. You're one of us. You're loyal to us. No more stupid chicken girls. Ellie was a chicken girl. Brooke is a bee. The chicken girls are middle school, the bees are high school. So, are you in? Or do you wanna make the worst decision of your life and be a loser all four years of high school? The choice is up to you. We will only make this offer once, and if you say no, you'll be blacklisted by the bees forever. But once you're a bee, you're a bee for life. Assuming you don't cross us. And we'll always have your back. Again, unless you cross us. Hey, Hamilton. Hey, Quinn. Is Rooney here? <sighs> she just left. Uh, I've been trying to hang out with her all week. Do you want to come in? Uh, no. Don't worry. I'm making sandwiches. Do you want one? I love sandwiches. I had a lot of fun today, Ryan. Every day could be like this. But we can't cut school every day. Yeah, okay, maybe not every day, but it could be like this. You know, you, me, and Adler. DK? It's just not that simple, Ryan. But shouldn't it be? Just because two people love each other and want to be together, doesn't mean it always works out. Look at my parents. I get it. It's a big decision. I, I just don't know what to do. I say you sleep on it. That's what my mom always tells me to do if I've got a big decision to make. I can come by early tomorrow and we can talk it out. I don't, I don't think that we should do that until you make a decision. It's already hard enough. You're right. Then I'll see you tomorrow morning. Ryan? We'll talk tomorrow. Oh good, you're not late. We have someone we need to introduce you to. Dance team minions, meet the newest queen bee, Brooke. Wait, what, are you serious? You're a traitor. I really hope you feel good about yourself, Ellie. It's Brooke now. Well, that's stupid. This whole queen bee concept is so dumb, you can't just change your name. Well, that's super rude. 
Don't you agree, Brooke? Brooke, was not really rude of Luna to say. I guess. And no way to treat a friend, teammate, and most importantly, a bee. Brooke, don't you think Luna should apologize for being so rude? Oh, it's fine, really. It's not a big deal or anything. No, Brooke, she needs to say sorry. Luna, apologize to Brooke. I'm sorry, Ellie. Ugh. No, that's not her name. Say it right and say it like you mean it. You're such a follower. <sighs> Brooke, if you don't tell her to apologize, she'll be kicked off the team. Well, maybe you should just do it. I'm sorry, Brooke. Cheer up, Brooke. You're about to be one of the most popular girls in school. Is what happened this morning, just an hour. Maybe someday, kid. Right, run along. Hey. Hey yourself. Can you turn on that TV? Would you rather just sit here and listen to them screaming at each other? I did the same thing when I was yeah, no. So I thought. You know what? We don't just have to sit here and listen to them argue. We're supposed to have dinner together. So we can just sit there and pretend that mom and dad don't hate each other? Oh yeah, sounds like a real joy. What time does the band go on? Okay, I'll meet you there. I'm sorry, boy. 